Hey Assassins, this is Wheel and welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. This is episode 2 in my 4 part mini series of how to build the Ghost Adventures crew. In today's video, we'll be building the legendary Zack Bayons. So Zack down here is holding his, either his spirit box or his actual like EVP device. So um, I'm not sure what you guys want to do with that. If you want to say it's like one or the other, then that's totally cool. Let's go ahead and grab the materials we need and get started with building Zack today. So once again, we're going to go ahead and take a nice big space. I'm going to go besides Jay over here. I'm going to take myself some black concrete first of all, some nether brick stairs, some nether brick block, and finally some nether brick slabs as well. Let's go ahead and build down here. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves. Um, it doesn't really matter the distance between each of these um, guys. So you can build them however you know far away from each other you want to. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go like a rough sort of dimension. I'm going to go about here. I'm going to build myself the exact same shoe shape as um, Jay over there. So four and then three along, like so. A block away, do the exact same thing. Next step is taking ourselves our slabs. We're going to go behind the first row of blocks and place three just here on both sides. Then go ahead and take yourself your nether brick and stick three behind and three here. So we're building a sneaker again, but this one is actually a lot bigger uh, than Jay's down here. Jay's in the grand scheme of things almost look like trainers now uh, compared to Zach's sneakers over here. So Zach usually has this sort of tongue or this lip on his shoe. Um, so we're going to go ahead and build that now. So we're going to go for the three black concretes here and another three here. Three here and three here. Then we'll do ourselves three upside down um, nether brick stairs and then three on top. Like so, and as you can see, that sort of comes out for the, the flick of the the <laughs> lip, I guess you could say. Awesome. Next, we'll go ahead and take our black concrete out on the sides for two. Obviously, don't join them in the middle, though. We're going to join them later up at the top. Now, we'll come around the back and build three here and three here. Then, we'll go ahead and build this one up to another uh, three on both of these, like so. And then, what we're going to do is go ahead and if I spin to my side, I can see this a little better. We're going to go ahead and bring this one onto that one and then we're going to drop it just there behind um oops just there behind our actual sort of shoe and then you can place one block on there awesome so it now comes out from the actual thing so one here and one here and then you can build two and two just here we'll build two on the other side so it matches like so then you can run these behind the shoe and connect them at the back uh, if you want to just knock off that block just remember you're going to connect them at the top of the trousers. Then all we do is count up for a nine, like we did for Jay, starting on our first one, which our first one is just here, um, behind, of course, this one. So one, uh, I'm just going to count my nether brick. One, two, three, cool. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, like so. So build all of these blocks up to nine, so you can add in, you know, the separate trouser legs for now, and then we'll connect them up in a second. So like so, going up to nine blocks in height, almost there now, that one just there, and then this one, two up to nine, here as well. Remember to go out on the opposite sides of each shoe. Sorry it's a little bit dark again guys today, I'm going to go ahead and put it to day in a second just so that we can see what we're doing. I try and keep it night time because of course, Ghost Adventures, it would be helpful to do it at night time, it would be more fun. But um. Black concrete is really dark in Minecraft. Like they made that ultra dark, so you can't really see it too much. So I'll have to sort that out in a second. Now you want to go ahead and take four blocks down. One, two, three, four. Just here for these three blocks in the middle of the trouser legs. Let's do that now. So now we have almost like Lego looking legs just here. So you can now just fill in these two and these two. Awesome. So once you have the baggy trousers in there, we're going to go ahead and take some more materials for our chest and area. Uh, chest and area? <laughs> Torso area, even. <laughs> now then, this next section might get a little bit complex, so definitely stay tuned. Feel free to pause, of course, and ask me any questions you might have down in the comments below. Take yourself some cracked nether bricks, some nether brick stairs, some nether brick slabs, some blocks of netherite, some stripped birch wood, some nether brick wall, some iron trap doors, a lever, and finally some chiseled nether bricks. Let's go ahead and build Zach's torso. 
So we want to go ahead and build up to 13 blocks high on both sides of his sort of torso here. Now we're not going to start just here, we're going to start the one in on both sides. So this is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, like so. Awesome. Now most of these are going to have, uh, well this is going to have a lot of stairs in it uh, to represent little buttons and pouches and things like that. So we need to definitely incorporate that afterwards. So now then for this next part, you want to go ahead and build yourself one, two, three, and connect fourth one just here, like so. Now I want to build that four on the other side as well, like so. And then we bring out this 13 here, and then one also on the other side. So this one just here. Awesome. Now drop down here and add in a slab just there and there, and then build from the slabs upwards until you stop next to that another brick you already have. So just there. Awesome, now we can start working on the front. So we're going to go ahead and do it directly in the center just here. So the center of the trousers is where we're going to start our torso strange looking designs. So place a block on the actual trousers and then take nether brick stairs and you're going to alternate them up and down, up and down, up and down until you reach the top and uh, some buttons. So we're going to build ourselves a couple blocks up first of all. We're going to build up, um, let's go for about four actually. So one, two, three, four. Then we can do two ups to down stair patterns like so. Awesome, now you have that in, we're going to stick ourselves a normal chisel nether brick coming forward for one. Then we want to stick ourselves a um, chisel nether brick just here. Sorry, that was a um, cracked nether brick I was on about. So a chisel nether brick goes on top of that one. Then we're going to go ahead and separate it with a cracked, then a chiseled, cracked, then a chiseled, cracked, then a chiseled, and then a cracked up here. Uh, I believe it's a cracked up here. It might even be just a slab. It could even be just a slab. Yes, okay, stick your slab in there like so. Then I'm going to build a block on this side of cracked nether bricks, and this side too. Then I'm going to do stairs folding in like so, so they dip for Zach's collar, like so. On all of these chiseled nether bricks, go behind them and add a lever. This is going to be for our iron trap doors. Now there should be four of these iron trap doors for buttons. So now stick your iron trap doors on the front side, and then once you have them all in there you can just go behind and fold them up like so now we can fill up the torso without having to worry about different you know mechanics on the inside so the next thing to do though is we want to go ahead and continue this zip that goes right the way up uh sorry right the way down the jacket um but of course we can't reuse really the stairs anymore as we have the buttons in here so we stick a stair just here upside down one just next to it and continue this pattern up until just very before the last button which is awesome because it connects to that stair above, which is helpful. So there we go. In the gap down here, you can add in yourself all the rest of them as um, chiseled nether brick. So just here, along, like so. Now there could be even one behind the hand that's here, uh, holding the device, but I'm not certain just yet. If you want to come to the top though, what I am certain of is next to this stair here, leave that block and go here and knock out for a... I think it might be an upside down block actually, an upside down stair. But we'll do a normal one for now, just to keep it nice and simple. Then drop down so you're on, not the first one, not the second one, third one down here. Go along and do the same sort of thing, so normal stair like so. Awesome, so there's only going to be two there because of course the hand comes for most of this side of the torso. On this side we're going to do a little bit longer sort of, I guess you could say slits in the jacket, um, for either pockets or something along those lines. So we'll go to the second button up, and this little gap here, add in your two stairs across, like so. Then we do the same at the top button. So this one, add in two stairs across the top. Now fill in the blocks with your cracked nether bricks. Kind of boring for the rest of the section really, but um, it is a very cool looking jacket in real life. And I tried to represent it as best as I could, and the only way to do that was with very sort of dark materials, like the nether bricks and stuff. So that was pretty cool. There we go, that's looking really cool guys. Now then, but mostly on the back, it's kind of a similar thing. Like, to be honest, it all looks quite the same. So we're just going to go ahead and bring this along, like so. We're going to bring this up for two blocks high. Like, uh, like that, obviously. Then a third row. 
on the third one you can bring it out by a block on both sides and then we're going to bring these up entirely like so for three at the moment then we'll go for four then we'll go for five and then we're going to go for six and i'm going to go quickly check just to make sure i haven't overdone this or underdone it but i'll be right back so nope we need to add in another three layers to make this into nine layers so that's two and then a third one just like so so we should be two blocks under the front which we are that's looking really good so now you can come back in a block and add in two and this side as well two and then we don't need to raise it up really anymore unless it's with slabs later um so we can just kind of fill in that space for the moment that's looking good okay so next copy up this along uh for about three blocks in total like so then go ahead and duplicate it again just here and the same on the opposite side awesome now we can go ahead and bring ourselves one two three here but build it up for three like that we're also going to build it out for three just here i think that was the doorbell <laughs> so now we need to go ahead and shape the arm a little bit so on this right arm just here so zach's right arm if you were zach you're going to go ahead and drop down on these three bringing them right down uh to just a block below this one so just before this one sorry just there we're going to chop that one back and knock one through there like so so it kind of goes up like that then we'll bring this one and down like so and then along for two so it connects to the body just by adding those blocks then we fill in this little shape down here just with a weird little pan like so then we'll come up to here and we'll build this up basically until we reach ourselves that point just there you can also go ahead and like knock some of these blocks off because it looks a little bit ridiculous <laughs> that was my bad so we're gonna knock like a couple blocks off maybe two just like so so we have like a gap of three from here looking good then you can come down from the bottom give the second block up and go one two and about three and then we'll go for two out like so um, we'll do ourselves a block here for two and then a block out for two like so so you can see it kind of curves around like so so now we're going to go ahead and just make this a little bit more 3d so bring this block around the corner here and connect it to that one just there then we go ahead and build that one just back there and then we bring two down just here to finish up that hollow space there you go looking pretty cool now oh no there's a hole <laughs> so bring two blocks down there just like so then we're going to go ahead and come next to this for the hand take yourself birchwood go back here next to the sleeve and build one two three blocks up like so then build two blocks out two blocks out again two blocks here and then two blocks back here as well so it looks like a hand grabbing something something just there and of course that something is the device that we're using just here so we're going to go ahead and make this hand a little bit more like a hand by um, adding in a few more blocks on the underneath side so we'll add in our device in here and then we can come back to the hand in a second so we'll go for one two three down and three down just here then we'll do a little antenna on top for about two nether brick wall like that could be two could be three whichever you guys prefer go for it so actually that looks like a hand quite well yeah that's looking pretty cool i'm happy with that if you're happy with it too then you can continue if you're not go ahead and just maybe add in a couple birch blocks uh just to add a bit more detail to the hand but to be honest i'm chuffed a bit to that that's looking really cool nice one so for the other arm over here, we've already started some, so that's not going to be too too difficult to get, to, bleh, to get done. <laughs> we'll go just here, and we'll go ahead and build two down. Sorry, two out, that was. One, two, three across the top here. Fill in those two. Build three out just here. And then drop these blocks down for a couple uh, until you reach just next to the blow of the button. The blow of the first button. And then we'll go ahead and just make this backwards so it looks like a really 3d shape just like so and then what we're going to do here is as we get to this first notch so where the actual sort of zipper is that's where we go ahead and add in our first bit of hand so it's going to be literally on where we stopped which was perfect so we'll go for two blocks one down here one two just here and then we'll do one two one two and one two like so so it kind of looks like a an and an hand <laughs> a hand there even oh my gosh and then we'll go ahead and fill in the nether bricks just in here for those six blocks in total there you go it's a bit of a small hand but it looks pretty cool and it fits quite nicely just in there like so so yeah that's looking really awesome let's go ahead and build zach's head now 
So for this final section, we will take ourselves some stripped birch wood once again. Some black concrete, some nether brick stairs, some smooth quartz blocks, some black wool, some nether brick block, some nether brick slabs, and finally some cracked nether bricks once again. Let's go ahead and go to the back of Zach's head. We'll go ahead and build it in three blocks in the center. So one, two, three. If you need to use a guide, use the, uh, the two stairs at the front here. Awesome. Then we want to go next to these and build in one, two, three, four, five slabs for two rows like so. So it kind of ang uh, angles up into a bit of a collar just here. Like that. Looking good. Now we'll switch around to the front again. We'll take our stripped birch wood and add in one, two, and three, just there. Go down here and add in yourself one, two, three normal nether brick blocks, just so it's not peeking through there. Go ahead and add in three black concretes just here. We'll go for one, two, uh, one on each side of the smile with our strip birch. Then we'll go for a nice five across the top. We'll have to come out the side here. It's gonna change the, the way of the wood but if you wanted to like change it up, you totally could do it, of course. Then we'll go for ourselves one here, one here, one in the center, and one out forward like so. We'll do ourselves another two just here, but we'll stick upside down nether brick stairs on them, and here as well. Of course, they're gonna be for the glasses. Come back in here and place smooth quartz just here, and one this side, and then black wall here and here. Then we'll do ourselves another stripped birch, a stair goes on here, or a block. A block might actually look more effective. Then we're going to go ahead and swap out the eyes for black concrete, because I completely forgot we need to use our black wall for Zach's hair. So we're going to go ahead and put a black wall just here. We'll stick ourselves two stripped birch here above the eyes, with normal stairs on top. Like so. Looking cool. Then we'll stick ourselves black wall here, and one this side. And then we can actually do a row across the top as well just for those five. Down on the sides, you want to go ahead and sort of turn this in a little bit now. So we'll take ourselves another stripped birch on the sides, and then we'll do a stair coming out this way, and a stair coming out the other way, like so. Then we take our stripped birch wood, we go to here and build three blocks like so, stacked up for two. We stick in ourselves black concrete just about here, oh no, sorry, black wool just about here. Stripped birch comes up for two here, so one for the ear. Then we'll do ourselves nether brick block just here, here, and then three across the front, like so. So it looks like the glasses kind of go around the side of the head and over Zach's ears. Kind of makes sense. Then we go ahead and take our black wall going along this way. And as we get to the end here, you want to go ahead and just build one, two, and about... Yeah, we can go for three, just there. Then we'll stick ourselves a smooth... Sorry, a stripped birch on the top there. And then on these three, we'll build ourselves one, two, three, and then we're going to connect them up to the sides. So we'll do just a couple out from this way, like so. It's a little bit awkward this one because we have to kind of go a little bit weird from the structure that we've already built below for the neck. So on the back here, we're going to drop down again for one block there and one block here. Then we can continue what we did on that side over here. So black wall up for three and then across for three like that. Then we want to go ahead and on the back here, build our wool out um, for the entire layer. So just here, build it out. Very, very simple. Like so, for the three layers as well. Awesome. <laughs> Looks a bit funny at the moment, but we'll get that sorted later. Now here we can use what we have over there uh, as a little guide. So we're going to go for one, two, three, just in here. Three again. One block there with one block out for the ear. A piece of black wool just there. And then we'll do our ear this side. So we're going to go for nether brick for one, two, one, two, three, like so. Now let's just check what we did on the other side for this part over here. So we added in ourselves a couple more blocks for um, the wool. So we just go for one there, one there, one there, three, another three, two, and then two, like so. So we've kind of bulked it up a little bit because I did start a little bit before, which was my bad. But um, on the front, you can see that it all looks the same. So yeah, that's looking good so far. Now taking your black concrete, go ahead and go across the top here for an entire layer. That's about seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then do five just up here in a block on both sides. Then we want to go around the side here. And we're going to go ahead and build ourselves 
one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six and seven, like so. Then we can build up about five in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, just up to that wall there. Over here, do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with five here. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Then we need to go ahead and curve this in for the front of the cap. So one there, one there, and then we'll do a row across the top. Across the front, sorry, for five, just like so. Fill the ones in here, so three. Then go ahead and fill in this five and bring that five forward, like so. So you have that brim of the cap just there. It's like a baseball cap, so we need to get this accurate as possible. Then we'll go ahead and build another five here. And then we'll build this just before the back of the cap. So that it doesn't actually go up into like a pyramid shape as such. Kind of just stops there. You can see where it brims down on the both sides. If you look at it from the front, it should hopefully look like Zach Bacon's. If it did in the first place, I really hope it does. <laughs> and there we go. And while that is it for this Wheel Assassin video, guys, thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. Very, very much appreciated. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. If you did enjoy building this one with me, please be sure to drop a like. That'd be awesome. If you are interested in staying tuned for the last two guys coming very, very soon, of course, we've got Aaron to come and, of course, Billy as well. So go ahead and uh, definitely stay tuned for those by maybe even subscribing during the Assassin Hood today for free. That'd be awesome. Thank you very, very much. And if you want to go ahead and check me out on my social medias, all the links are down in the description below. Take it easy, everyone. Have an excellent rest of your day. Take care. Stay safe. Goodbye for now.